we're kind of running out of time. It's already 9.20, and I have an amazing lesson plan for you guys, okay? From the amazing workshop, okay? So before I begin, I'm just going to talk about some of the rules, okay? We're gonna have team leaders for each table, right? So um, team leaders, can you raise your hands, please, just so I know who you are? One, two, three, four, and five, excellent. I'm gonna give um, numbers to each table, okay? This is table one, table two, table three, table four, and table five, okay? And the incentive to do a great job today is to get a prize at the end of this workshop. Okay, so hopefully we're gonna see which table does the best work, who cooperates and does a great job. Okay, alhamdulillah. Okay, so before we begin, um, my name is Dr. Prajana, right? And I'm a teacher, I'm a psychologist, and I do a lot of stuff, right? A lot of things, right, under my belt, alhamdulillah. But today I am going to talk about positive mental health. I'm going to talk about how to have positive mental health and why it's important, okay? So before we begin, just tell me, like, tell me some things you're enjoying in summer, some, uh, in camp now. Tell me some things. What are you fun, some fun things that you're doing right now? Hello, come on. What, what are you excited about today? What are you gonna do today? What's exciting today? Come on, don't be shy. Come on, guys. Are you guys gonna? Do you have any sports plans? What are you guys gonna do? What do you like about camp? Yeah. Basketball. Ooh, basketball. That's nice. Anybody else? He loves playing basketball. Anybody else? What else do you guys like to do in a camp equally? Yeah. Which one? Activities. Arts and crafts. Great. You're going to love this, okay? So you like arts and crafts. Alhamdulillah. Okay, guys. So let's start out, right? So um, what, as, so I'm going to start out with some questions. What are some challenges you face as you? What are some challenges that you face? Yes. Making friends. Making friends. Thank you for being honest. Anyone else? Making friends is hard sometimes, right? As you're growing, as you're growing up. Anyone else? Come on, guys. What are some things, some challenges that you might have? Yes, love. I can't hear you. Learning the Quran. Yeah. So your studies, right? Right. So maybe it could be learning Quran. Maybe it could be academic. Right. Anyone else? Excuse me. You're looking over here, right? Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, so you guys gave me a lot of examples. So yeah, as youth, you might face a lot of challenges, right? Some challenges that you might face is balancing work, balancing schoolwork, right? Making friends, right? Having friends, sometimes that's hard. Um, and some, some other things that you might face as, as youth in this youth is sometimes there's a lot of media, right? If you turn on the TV, what do you see on the TV? Well, there's a lot of what? negative things happening, right? Right? When you turn on the television, there's a lot of negativity, right? That's happening. Sometimes it promotes vulgarity, right? And so you have to be aware of that. Another thing, uh, another thing, sometimes our religion is being criticized. Is that, do you, is that correct? Have you ever, you know, you know there's a lot of things going on that where our religion, being a Muslim, is being criticized, unfortunately, now, right? So you have to build certain strategies to help yourself when you go to school, right? when you go to school. Another thing is um, this contradictory societal standards, right? That you learn at home, right? But then when you go outside, it's, it clashes, right? So your core values are always being tested, right? So if you wear hijab, do you not wear hijab? How do you act? What are your values as a guy, as a girl growing up here, right? Okay, so um, also nowadays, there's Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, right? all of these social media, and I'm sure the younger kids probably, I'm sure you're familiar with the older kids, you might, you might be, you might, some of you might even have some, right? So now, not only that do we have to face as youth here, we also have to face the fact that now our, our self-confidence is based on what? How many likes we get on Facebook? How many likes we get on Instagram, right? Who, who has um, Instagram here? Sorry. Be honest, raise your hand, who has Instagram? Okay, it's not nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. There's not nothing wrong with it. But what I'm trying to explain is that we have a lot of, you know, we face a lot of challenges and our core value, values are being tested every day as Muslim, as Muslim youth. Just join us, have a seat, love. Okay, so what are some ways you process those emotions? Because all of these challenges, 
like you mentioned, making friends, right? And all that can give us a lot of, can give us some distress, right? Can put us in distress, right? Right? Put us in anxiety sometimes. So what are some ways you process your emotions? Can anybody tell me? Who can tell me? Come on, come on, come on. How do you process your emotions? Oh my goodness, no one is raising their hand. Do you know how to process your emotions? Raise your hand if you know how to process your emotions. Well, how do you process your emotions? See? Okay, so, I give up. Okay, so thanks for trying. Thanks for trying. What I'm trying to say is that, as you can see, a lot of us don't even know how to process our emotions. Right? No one teaches us that. Teaches us that. We learn math in school, we learn reading, we learn science, but nobody teaches us how to what? Process our emotions, right? How to process those emotions. Okay, so why do you think mental health is important? Come on, guys. Why do you think mental health is important? Huh? Come on, my six to eight graders over here. Why is it important to, pop, um, uh, to have positive mental health? Tell me. Yeah, uh-huh. It is related to your physical health. So why is your mental and physical health important? Yes. To help you cope with feelings of sadness, right? Excuse me? Yeah, excellent, excellent, great job. So, uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, so positive mental health helps you develop self-esteem, right? It helps you develop better decision-making skills, and it helps you process, teaches you how to process your emotions and have a successful life, okay? So guess what, guys? Today I'm gonna teach you four habits to have positive mental health, okay? Four habits to, po to have positive mental health. Number one, as a Muslim, be consistent with your prayers, okay, guys? Be consistent with your prayers. Number two, consistently build confidence. Number three, consistently reflect on your actions. And last, consistently process your emotions. Okay? So, I came up with a watch yourself technique. Okay? It's an amazing technique, basically, that helps you have positive mental health. Okay? And it helps you develop these core habits, okay? And it keeps you in a constant state of awareness. So what do I mean? What is awareness? Can anybody tell me what awareness is? Awareness. Anyone knows? Yes. What's going on? Yeah. Knowing what is going on around you, okay? So everybody over here, we're going to play a little game right now, okay? In, in, the, in, in, in Japan, right, you have a technique, it's a martial arts technique, it's called dan shin, right? It's when you're in, you have a, you're in a constant state of awareness, like ninjas. Does anybody know what a ninja is? You've seen a ninja before? Raise your hand if you've seen a ninja before. Yes, yes, you know what a ninja is. Okay, so we're going to play a little game, and I'm going to show you what awareness feels like. Who wants to be my volunteer? Come on, who wants to be my volunteer? You? Come on. <laughs> So we're gonna see who, who has some awareness. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, so you're gonna stand here. Close your eyes. Don't peek. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Don't peek. If you think you're gonna peek, just close your eyes with your hand. Don't look. Okay. So let's see if she's, she has Dan Shin. Okay, that means uh, total awareness. Okay? Don't look. Open your eyes. Don't look. How many kids do you think are behind you? Hurry up, hurry up. Quick, 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 quick. Two. Let's see. Turn around. Whoa! <laughs> she's right. She has, she has awareness. Let's clap for her. <laughs> Woo! Good job. Have a seat. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, awareness is knowing what is around you. What is it? Knowing what is around you. So basically, guys, look over here. The watch yourself technique is another you. Everyone go like this. There's another you 
watching yourself. Again, let's say it again. Uh, let's do, say it together. Another you watching yourself. Guys, wake up. Everyone say it. Another you watching yourself. So there's another you watching yourself. You're always in a constant state of awareness. You know what's going on. And you're always becoming the best version of yourself. But you know what? A lot of us learn a lot of things in life, but no one teaches us to watch ourselves. Right? Watch our feelings. Right? Watch our emotions. Right? Watch our actions. None of us do that. We just go, like, we're like, sometimes we become like robots. Like, okay, let me wake up. Let me brush my teeth. Okay, let me put my clothes on. Let me go to, the, to, to, to school and then do my homework and go to sleep. You're never watching yourself, right? To see what kind of actions you took that day, right? How you're feeling, no, you don't do that. So today I am going to teach you specific what? Strategies. I'm gonna teach you guys specific strategies to watch your what? Self. Okay, number one is watch yourself. If you basically hear what you do is to watch yourself and you write it and throw it away. So what do I mean by watch yourself, okay? On a weekly basis, you write down what you did. Like on Fridays, you talk about, you write down what did you do on Monday, what did you do on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you say, did you have more positive actions or more negative actions? So you talk about more, what have you, if you had more positive actions or negative actions. Another thing you can do to self-reflect is, and when you have those negative emotions, I mean negative actions, you try not to do them. So let's say you go through your day like, oh, Monday, I cleaned my room. I, you know, I did my homework, right? On Tuesday, uh-oh, I, I played too much video games, right? I watched too much, I played too much video games and I didn't do my homework. So that's a negative action, right? So you would try to correct that negative action. Another thing is write it and throw it away. So you write all your feelings and then you tear the paper up and throw those feelings away, right? Confidence. Positive affirmations. These are when you tell yourself, what? I am smart. I am awesome. I love myself. Okay? So what I want you to do right now is look at your team members, at your team, and tell them a positive affirmation about yourself. Come on. Go, 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 go. Look at yourself quick. And then when I say one, two, three, look at me, you're going to turn back. Tell each other some positive affirmations like, I am an awesome basketball player. Or I'm awesome at math. Come on, say something good about yourself. Say something good about yourself. Oh, okay. What else? What else? Are you saying positive? What else? Positive? Give me one. I'm smart. Okay, awesome. All right. All right. Eyes on me. Okay. Now, everyone's looking at this. Looking at me right now. Hola. Okay. So, that was positive affirmation. Another thing is called a five pack. Here, you think about five or less people, right, that really have been there for you. These are five or less people that you go to for advice, okay? So you name five, it cannot be more than five. And these are people that you go for their advice and get their opinion, right? And only their opinions matter, right? So let's say you're in the lunchroom and some girl comes up to you and says, and gives you a dirty look, right? Or says something mean to you, you're gonna be like, is that girl in my five pack? No, whatever, right? So then again, you're just like, whatever, their opinion doesn't matter. You could be at the basketball court. You're playing basketball and some other guy, they're like, they're trying to start up with you or they're trying to, you know, um, be mean to you, right? You're gonna be like, are they in my five pack? No, so what are you gonna say? Whatever, everyone say it, whatever, right? Good job, okay. Moving on, processing your emotions. You talk about, you have a, I hear some, are you ready guys? Okay. Then another, so now I'm gonna talk about how to process those emotions. How to what? Process those emotions. We have a lot of emotions. What are emotions? Tell me some emotions that you know. Raise your hand and tell me emotions, go. Happiness. Happiness. Sadness. Sadness. Come on, come on, come on, other emotions. Anger. Anger, ooh, right? That's a big one. Anger is a big one, yes. Fear, yeah, good one. Silliness? Yeah, well, yeah, when you have like, you just feel like silly, yeah. Okay, that could be, that kind of, that's a new one. That could go there too, right? Okay, so these are techniques that you can use to process your emotions, okay? One way is 
Finding a happy place, okay? So um, what, what does that mean, finding your happy place? So you have a place that's very peaceful to you that you can go to whenever you're stressed out, when something is bothering you, right? Like my happy place, I created one. It's like by a masjid and there's a huge river. So if I'm in a crowded bus, if I'm in a crowded bus, guess what? I go to my happy place. Or if I'm in a really loud lunchroom, because I also teach, remember I told you guys I teach? So when I'm in a lunchroom and it's so loud, like, ah! I'm like, okay, I have to go to my happy place. So I go to my happy place. Arts and crafts helps you process your emotions. It lets those emotions pass. Exercising and maybe dancing it away helps you process emotions. Stress ball, so you can have a stress ball, which we're gonna make today, it's exciting. Um, you basically just, you know, squeeze that ball and can, you can say, usa, 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 or just count to 10 to let those emotions pass, right? Breathing helps you. This is called, breathing helps you, this is called the buck technique. It's kind of silly, but basically you pretend like there's a buck that went up your nose, and then you have to go like this. Two breaths in. Try it, guys. Come on, let's go. Two breaths in. So you're like, there's like a bug and you're trying to get it out. So that helps you with your emotions. Watching funny shows, appropriate funny shows, helps you process your emotions. Another technique, when you get angry or you get sad, you can go like this. I feel angry right now because my mother just yelled at me and it's okay, I accept you. Basically what you wanna do with emotions is you don't wanna keep it inside of you. Pretend like, you're, like your, your tummy's like a balloon. If you keep all those emotions inside, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and pop, right? It doesn't really happen, but that's what it feels like. So it's always important to what? Process your emotion. And then there's a whoosh technique. You take all those feelings and then you, throw, you turn it into a ball. Everyone make it into a ball. How are you feeling right now? Think of anything that, that you're feeling. Everyone, come on, come on, come on, get up, get up, get up. Make, take your feeling, whatever feeling you have, turn it into a ball. Throw it into space, let's go. Whoosh, and do it again. Whoosh, and one more time. Whoosh, okay, excellent. That's another way to process your emotions. Okay guys, so, which technique did you like the best? Which technique would you use? Can anyone tell me? Because we're gonna make, we're gonna actually try these right now in group, but who can tell me which one did you like the best? Yeah, the stress ball, that will help you. What about anybody else? Yeah. Stress balls. Stress balls. Oh goodness, everybody likes the stress balls. Anyone else? The happy place, yeah, going to your happy place. Yeah, anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah. Affirmations, yeah. Okay, so guess what guys? We're gonna do them together now. Woohoo! right? We're gonna do them together. Okay, so now, first thing that we're gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna start out with Watching yourself. So everyone get the white paper. Get one white paper, fold it in half. Okay? One white paper, fold it in half. All right, quick, 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 quick. I'm gonna see, so remember, I'm watching to see which table do the best job. Ready? So when you're done, you should be looking at me so I know you are ready. Wow, what table is that? Three. Three. Oh, table three just got a star. Awesome. Let's see what other Okay, excellent. What table are you guys? All right, good. Uh, what so, table is on the I am? What? All right, you need to raise your hand, my love. Okay. You're one, two, three, four, five. Right? So what table on my All right. So, moving on. So this five table, buddy. I thought it was more. Okay, great. So now listen, guys. Ready? So and get a pencil. Get a pencil. Okay. Now I want you to think about your weekend. Everyone, think about your weekend. I want you to tell me on your weekend what are some actions? Make this list. Make this list. Actions you did. Was it positive or negative? Just give me two actions. Go. Go. Teachers, if you can just walk around and just make sure that they um, understand how to do this. 
it over the weekend. Okay? And be honest. Be honest. Okay. Done? You don't have a pencil, Myla? Okay. Here, you can use markers. You can use the markers there. So 
now you're gonna make the five pack, guys. Ready? So take out the construction paper. You're gonna trace your hand on it and then cut it out. And then lift the five people. So let me show it to you on the board. Ready? All right, guys, look, look. Watch the teacher. Watch me, okay? So here's my hand. I'm gonna trace it. And then, here's my daughter, my little bro, Nicole, Lisa. So now remember, it doesn't have to be five people. It could be five or less. So go, do it. Trace your, finger, trace your hands now, hurry up. You could use a marker or a pencil, whatever is easier. And you're gonna get four minutes to do this, so do it quickly. I'm just trying to paste this for time, for time reasons. This is called your five pack. Up, you're already included, right? These are five other people aside from yourself. Yeah, you're the palm, right? That's you, and these are the five people, right? That only their opinion matters. So anyone else outside in the lunchroom, or the basketball court, or the baseball field, doesn't matter what you think. They're mean, right? Helping you guys? Yeah? Okay. You can cut it out or you don't have to cut it out. It's up to you. You don't have to if you don't want to. Who are your five people? Okay, good. That's good. And remember, it doesn't have to be five. It could be less than five. Five or less. It cannot be more. All right, guys. Ready? Who wants to share their five pack quickly? Who wants to share it? All right. One, two, come up. Bring your bring your um, five pack with you. <laughs> Thank you for helping. All right, my love. So, what's your name? Evie. Evie, go tell the, the go over there, honey. All right, show us your five pack. Turn it around. Okay, tell us. So, everyone's watching her. Evie, go ahead. <laughs> my five pack is my brother Zach. Uh huh. Um, my mom. My stepsister Miriam, my sister Lillian, and my dog Corinne. Okay, great. Now remember, your five pack are the only people's opinion that matter. And sometimes that five pack will change sometimes, right? As you get older, it might change. It could be new people, right? And some people might get off the list, right? But you have to know who those five people are. Great, thank you for sharing. And you're, you're next. What's your name? Zara. Zara? Okay, tell us, Zara. Oh, wow. Let's clap for them for being so brave. Come on. Woo! Good job. Amazing. Thank you for sharing. Okay, guys. Moving on. Now, we're going to create. Ready? So we did the, uh, we did the five pack. We did watch yourself. Right? Another technique that we're going to do right now is going to be called the happy place. So take out the other white paper. Take out the other white paper. Okay. So, okay. ready? Okay. Now, here, guys, yeah, you need, thank you. You're the leader, right? Leaders, if you need extra materials, you know where to go, right? So if you have, you need something, you can tell the leaders or your teachers here. Okay, moving on. Uh, the five, I mean, what were we, 
again, we were doing the happy place. Okay, now this, you could use markers or your crayons on the table, whatever you need, or your pencil. Create your happy place. Mine is the palm iron. This is where there's a masjid, and I climb up a tree, so a tree house, and I go to my, my happy place. My happy place is where there's a masjid, a big river, right? Your happy place could be Chuck E. Cheese, your happy place could be, I don't know what you like, but create that happy place right now. It could be the ocean, by the, by the, you, it could be the beautiful ocean and you're just playing on the sand. Create your happy place, go. Yeah, it could be a, a beautiful a place, yeah, it could be home. Just create it for yourself. It could be any place. It could be any place you like to go, right? And this is the place you will go to whenever you're stressed out. You're in a busy lunchroom, a busy bus, right? A crowded area. You close your eyes or you, or you just imagine and you go to your happy place. Any place that makes you feel happy. Any place that makes you feel happy. it'll be easier for you to go to the happy place, right? When you have vivid descriptions, right? Like my happy place is a huge river, and across the street, and right across the river is a big masjid, and the azan is going on, and I'm on the other side just sitting. That's my happy place. <laughs> I hear the birds chirping. One more minute, my loves. <laughs> All right. Ten more seconds, and it's okay if you didn't finish. You can always finish them. Uh, you're happy creating these at home, okay? Okay, what's in your happy place? What does it look like? Okay, so you like cats? 
And the cat make you feel happy? Cats make you feel happy? Your old cat? Aw, that's, that's beautiful. Okay, great. So, uh, and where, are the, where did you usually stay with him? Okay, so you, maybe you can do some parts of your house, right? Or maybe the backyard or somewhere outside that you can, so just be a little, add some more, a little bit more details, but it's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. Stay here, honey. Stay here. Yes? What's your name, by the way? Dubai? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is my tire string. Your tire string? Yeah. Sunset. Wow, mashallah, right? Yeah, so remember those happy places, guys. So when, when do you use those happy places? When would you, yeah, when would you use them? Yeah, if you have like an argument with somebody, or you, usually you want to use those happy places when you're like in a crowded place. Like you're in a crowded place and you're like, oh my goodness, usa, 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 and then you just think about your happy place, alhamdulillah. Thank you guys for sharing. Let's clap again. Woo! Good job. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, now you're going to just do a couple of activities by yourself, okay? And you're going to get 10 minutes to do them. And you're going to do number one, arts and crafts. I gave all of you guys, where are they? Some sun catchers. We're not using them yet. Leaders, leaders. Nobody's touching anything yet. Leaders, you're going to pass these out to your team members, okay? So sun catchers help you process your emotions so when you're angry and you're sad, you can draw, draw, paint, color to help you what? Process your emotions. Another thing, you have an, a frame over here. Everyone, eyes on me, is everyone looking at me? Look, here you're gonna create positive affirmations. So you're gonna write with a marker. I love myself, look. Leaders, let's not do that yet. Okay, I'll wait. My darling, we're not passing anything out yet. Just wait a minute, okay? Now just listen for directions, okay? Step one, you're gonna do your arts and crafts, right? By coloring in the sun catchers. That's another way to process your emotion, right? Leaders, hola leaders. Step two, you're gonna create a positive affirmation frame. You're gonna put your picture in here later, inshallah, if you want to, or whatever you want here. And then you're gonna write positive affirmations using your markers, like, I love myself. I am awesome. I am so smart, right? I'm a great basketball player. I'm, whatever you wanna put on here. Because remember, at, to have positive mental health, it doesn't come naturally. You have to work, to, work, work towards it, right? You have to constantly what? Be consistent in your prayers. Consistently build confidence. Consistently reflect on your actions and consistently process your emotions. That's the way you attain what? Positive mental health and that's crucial. Why? Because it helps us build self-esteem, helps us make better decisions in life, okay? All right, so you're gonna create, you're gonna do the arts and crafts, you're gonna create the positive affirmation and then this, the, this, these two groups, you're gonna create some stress ball, okay? So you're gonna have balloons here, and you're gonna fill the balloons with these water beads, or orbeez. You're gonna fill it up, tie it up, and it will be your stress ball. So whenever you get stressed out, another way to process your emotions is what? Squeeze this 10 times, or say, usa, usa, usa. And you don't even need the stress ball sometimes. You can just say usa whenever you get angry, like, my goodness, I'm feeling so angry right now. And it's okay. I'm feeling angry because I failed my test. And it's okay, I accept you. Or I didn't get the grade I wanted. And it's okay, I accept you. And you say, usa, usa, usa. That's your breathing and letting that stress, what? Come, pass, go past you. All right, you may begin. You will get 10 minutes, inshallah. Go. The black one might not work. Oh, and use these stickers, I'm sorry. You can use these stickers to glue on, to um, stick onto the frame. And you can put your affirmations on them, okay? Do you see what I mean? Guys, look. You're gonna take these stickers, put it on the frame, and put the positive affirmations.
If you have any questions, please uh, let any of the leaders or teachers know. Oh, it's not yet. You're not supposed to go. It's easier, but basically you're supposed to. 
Can you make me more? Not so wrong. Not so wrong. Right. 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 
Oh, thank you for helping. This is me. 